Good morning, dear family. I want to teach you on how to maintain continuity with God. How to maintain continuity with God. Our scriptural text for this message is Acts chapter 11 and verse 23. Acts chapter 11 and verse 23. The Bible says, When he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all that with purpose of heart they should continue with the Lord. This is Barnabas encouraging the believers in Antioch that with purpose of heart they should continue with the Lord. How do you maintain continuity with God or how do you continue with God? Number one, you need to have a heart for God. You need to have a heart for God. Barnabas said to the believers in Acts chapter 11 verse 23 that with purpose of heart they should continue with the Lord. Barnabas mentioned the heart before he mentioned continue, meaning to continue with the Lord, your heart must be involved. Let me say that one more time. To continue with the Lord, your heart must be involved. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 15 verse 8, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. What is Jesus saying? Jesus is saying, yes, I can hear them singing Hosanna to me, but their heart is not with me. They are only interested in what I can give to them, the bread and the fish. They are only interested in what I can do for them, the healing, the miracles and the signs and wonders, but their heart is not with me. They even sit down and listen to me teach and preach, but their heart is not with me. And true to Jesus' own words, the same people who called him Hosanna were the same people who said, Crucify him. They were with him, but their hearts were not with him. And as a result, they did not continue with him. Child of God, let me speak to you. If you will continue with God, you've got to have a heart for God. If you will continue with God, you've got to have a heart for God. As a matter of fact, lack of continuity in the things of God shows a lack of heart for the things of God. Let me say that one more time. Lack of continuity in the things of God shows a lack of heart for the things of God. Do you know why your heart is so important in continuing with God? Because that is where your worship is. Jesus said in Mark chapter 12 verse 30, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Not with some of your heart, with all your heart. But there are so many things contending with the love of God in your heart. So many things competing with the love of God in your heart. That is why you've got to make up your heart to continue with God or you will not continue with Him. So child of God, to continue with God, you need to first and foremost have a heart for God. Let's talk again tomorrow on the subject. God bless you. Oh